Hi, welcome to another video and, and this one I'm going to actually start at the end and work back to the to the beginning. So this is um, where we, re this video is about trying to uh, explain to a person why it's so important to do the boring, tedious exercises they think do nothing when they want to get to something like this, which is, this is a cutting move that replicating um, the change of direction uh, movement that we see in sports where often the injury actually happens, especially knee injury. So this is a Kim demonstrating this cutting move. So this is like single leg hopping. So it's like a warm up move to then move into the, the sort of the real explosive change of direction and then trying to control the landing each time. So there's a massive interaction between foot, knee, hip and, and trunk. All right. So how do you get from this, so if we take her back to this point here, that's that's the position that we want to make extremely fast, powerful. All right, so that's the fun part. Um, how do we go get to that point? You can't just go straight to that, especially if you've had an injury or you're moving very poorly. This will be a little. You'll be too many things that you'll get wrong. You need to go back to the big basics, just like with anything. Fundamentals are everything. All right, so. How do I go right back to the beginning? Well, there's many things I might do, but if I just go in this video, I'm just giving you a few ideas. I might start with the person when we first see them, just getting basic single leg um, and pelvic stability in this on the floor. So removing all of the moving factors, um, even removing the foot as a problem here, right? and just getting that person to get some basic hip extension from the floor. And, this is a stepping stone to the next thing, which is always going to be harder than the one than, than what they're doing right now. All right, so um, so I might start with the several of these as a strength exercise. I might use a, a, a basic version where I'm using a stick on the leg. You can check on the on the videos um, that I've done before on that. And then they're very useful in teaching the person how to maintain an optimal stability. Then I might move into using um, TRX type things where where we've again cheating on the stability to get nice alignment and good timing through ankle, knee, hip, uh, and even trunk, and trying to teach the person this is the alignment we're looking for. So th this is a single leg squat, not a deadlift. So we, we are sort of quite upright, and this is where we're building a lot of quadricep strength instead of just posterior chain. All right. So this is a a, a stepping stone to the next thing. All right. And this. These skills that need to be developed in the early stages, we're removing it all, a lot of the risks and a lot of the, the mistakes that we would see in things to come, especially in that last movement. So once we've developed that one, then we might start working with um, a toe touch drill. So this is our basic stability drill. And, and the purpose of this one, which I've done many videos on this before, is for that person to now learn how to control the alignment. All right, so they're learning how to control the alignment while they're working in a 360 degree um, uh, range of motion with with both legs. All right, so so the last one with the TRX had a strength element. This has really a little strength, very little strength element. Just learning to control basic um, single leg stance position. All right, with a very minimal around range of motion. On this second part, we start to see Kim introduce a bit more of the the strength element to it. Still, it's not extremely hard, but this is where we start to see mistakes begin to appear. Um, and you, until you master this, you won't be able to move forward to the next one because the mistakes will be even bigger. All right, so this is a, everything's a little stepping stone. So it might seem boring to you, but it has a purpose. All right, so once we've developed that one, then we may move into um, moving into single leg deadlifts so where we're not holding on to anything we've got a swiss ball to give you a little bit of guidance um, and you know obviously you by this stage you should be developing a fair bit of coordination movement skills stability through the entire body and again, and again we would probably add some dumbbells we could possibly even add a barbell um, and eventually this is sort of going to lead to the more dynamic things as your body is more prepared for it all right, so there's no way we could move to the fast things if you don't get these things first. And obviously, like there's a lot of mobility things I might need to use around this, um, even two leg um, exercises as well. But just to give you an idea of how they flow from from where we were at the end at, at the start of the video, which was the end, 
to now getting into this point where we're, we're able to move more dynamically. So without all those ones before that, I'll never be able to get this right. All right. So now she's really landing in that single leg deadlift position that we just saw. And, and this is where we're trying to learn to control the stance. All right. Uh, foot, foot stability is everything, foot plant, hip position, everything. So it's not so much the strength that's the important, it's the, it's the understanding of coordination and timing. All right, so this is where we get right back to where we started, where we had the cutting move. All right, so this is where we see the explosive cut, and that's the position where we always see the injury. And you can see she's got a, got a good head position and butts behind her, beautiful um, the foot plants are perfect too, so she doesn't have her foot turned out. Everything's where it needs to be. And she would only have got there if she worked on all of the fundamentals first. All right, so this is a, a video not so much giving you exercise examples to use, but more understanding the purpose of, this, of the easy drills um, and how they have a focus. Each one sort of has a different element to it to help you get to the point where you can control this one. Um, once again, to get more of how this fits in context with everything, check the description because the website articles I place in these videos really put these things into into context of how they will be used and how they make more sense to you. All right, so I hope that video gives you um, some information that, that helps you with your training and um, I'll see you on our next video.